Oh hi, so this is a Starship EVO which I uh, blew 20 bucks on a couple weeks ago and just got a chance to start looking at it a couple days ago when I had a day off work and uh, I've done basically nothing in this game except uh, try to get the control set up correctly. First thing I noticed with this game is that it's made with a Unity engine which tells me right there it's uh, not a not an entirely it's not a, it's not an international consortium of software developers putting this together uh which you know i'm not trying to downplay it or anything i think what a lot of people have said about this game is it has potential and i would agree with that uh but it's pretty rudimentary in a lot of ways at this point it looks nice you got this awesome ring world here you can travel all the way around that but the uh basic things like the like the menus for setting the controls uh, is more or less completely broken as far as I can tell I resorted to editing there's a settings I and I file uh, located oh god knows where located in this place yes let me look that up for you There's a settings INI file located in this place. Uh, C drive, users, your name here, app data, local low, Moonfire Entertainment, Starship View. That's where your settings INI file is. And you can go in there and you can edit that. And good luck, because you have to make sure the changes you make are acceptable to the game and that they don't conflict with each other and they don't cause problems with you. Or you can just play the game using the settings exactly as they come, which is which, which is what I'm sure most sensible people actually do. But I wanted to fly the ships and drive stuff using the joystick, just like I do in Elite Dangerous. So there you go. That's what I was into. That's that's the building you start in there, where it's got all the tutorials, how to move. You know, you got your you got all your different movements modes here, and these basically exist. Um, Largely in order to in order for you to get around the awful clipping situation, <laughs> you can get hung up. The, the clipping and the collision detection in this game is horrible. You can get you can get stuck in the ground. You could if you're not careful, you can fly straight through the ground here and find yourself floating around in space. And then you have to uh, and then you have to change to anti gravity here in order just to get back to this place. You know, it's it's rudimentary in a lot of ways, but of course, the main thing this game is about is crafting stuff. This this vehicle can be built, that ship over there can be built, everything you're looking at can be built. I'm thinking using this thing right here, which I'm not about to touch. They teach you apparently they teach they give you the idea of how to use all that over there in building 2, which I've been avoiding like the plague. I've not gone anywhere near building 2. The only thing I've done in this game is mess with the controls. <laughs> try to get them set up the way I want them so I can basically so I can basically use the so I can basically um, control these vehicles <laughs> meaning I can use the joystick as far as possible and just have some control over these things yeah, as far as possible, you know. Aha. Yeah, there's absolutely no pitch control on this thing. You go too fast and the nose goes down and there's no way and there's no way to stop that except to slow down. Which is annoying. Because you know, going fast is the whole idea. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway. Yep. 
I'm thinking what I'm hoping is that when I when I finally get around to learning how to build stuff like this or modify this thing, I'll find that there's a way to change the way the controls operate. Right now, the controls on this thing, uh, in this game, for controlling ships and, and cars and shit like that, you've got... Um, you got things like move forward, move backward, move left, move right, and then you got pitch, roll, and yaw, which are naturally things for joysticks, and I've managed to, I can, I can map that to my joystick here, but this vehicle right here will not respond to pitch commands of any kind. It will not respond to yaw commands of any time. The only thing this thing responds to is move forward, move backward, move left, move right, uh, and roll for some reason. It won't respond to pitch or yaw, but it'll respond to roll, so I can use roll on this thing. And I'm thinking, I'm hoping, when I finally figure out how to build or modify these things, I'll be able to tell this thing, look, take a pitch command. Take a yaw command. You know, screw that other shit. <laughs> that would be nice. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking that's probably going to be the case, but I have no idea how any of that works. Uh, but yeah, that is the main. That is the, that. Of course, is the main point of this game is that kind of thing. Uh, but beyond that, well, there's not much content here. You got this beautiful ring world, and there's a couple of space stations out there, and you got that. Uh, you got that asteroid belt. You can fly around there and fly around inside the asteroids, and that's about it as far as I can see. I don't think there's anything else out there. I'm not going into building two. At some point. I'm going to have to go into building two and learn how this shit works, but that's going to be probably a week or two from now, and maybe maybe I'll make one of these worthless videos about that too if I ever do it. Now uh, there's your third person view. Always nice to be able to look at a woman's butt. And maybe I'll go fly a ship and close this out. Yeah, see, I keep bringing up this thing. I'm going to break something with that gun because I have no idea how to use it. These buttons here allow you to adjust gravity, apparently, which I'm not about to do. There we are. And I've got the controls set up about as close as I can get them to where that got them in, in Elite Dangerous as I possibly can. But really... Really, there's not much point. Okay, that little icon, that's something you can fly to. That's one of them space stations. Select it with the middle mouse. Click it again, and you're on autopilot. It'll take you straight there. And this is your warp speed at about 28 kilometers a second, which, yeah, again, if you're used to some of these other games out here, that's dirt slow. But that gives you an idea of what the scale of this game is intended to be. You know, it's enough space to play around in and build stuff. This is something that comes with a game. It's just, it's just a bare-bones uh, framework. The idea, I'm sure, here is that you're going to build your own stuff. There's another space station down there. Yeah, and that's about it. I don't want to go there. I want to get back to the ring world. Okay, well that's all I got. That's all I got from this now. Uh, what they say about this game is it has potential, and I would agree with that. It definitely has potential, and I'll pro I'm sure I'll be playing around with this some more, especially if I ever get around to actually building stuff, which is what this game is all about. And if I do, I'll make another one of those videos. That's all I got to tell you. Have a good evening.
oh yeah, here's my other hovercraft. When you, here's my other hovercraft that the game gives you at the beginning of the game. It's supposed to be up there in the rim world, but at the moment it's, flo it's floating around here in space. This is what happens when you try to drive these things too fast is they'll crash right through the, they'll clip right through the ground and, and, and strand you out here in the middle of nowhere. And I have absolutely no way to retrieve this thing now. <laughs> Yep, there he is. Yeah. Yep. Game's a little rough, but it looks like fun. Have a good evening. <laughs> Okay, well, I have discovered <laughs> that I can push this thing with my with my spaceship, and I'm gonna. I swear to God, I'm gonna get this thing back. I'm gonna push it all the way around this motherfucker and get it back into that rim world so I can drive it again. That is my project. This is my goal for the day. I'll let you know how that works out. <laughs> Okay, I think I may have it. <laughs> I just got to get him down to the ground now. Oh, fuck. Not a whole lot of fine control going on here. <laughs> Fall to the ground, you piece of junk. Ah, oh, there we go. Success. All right. Okay, well, I'm definitely done now. Have a good evening. <laughs>